All right, Inspector. David Fox, to what do I owe the... What's the opposite of pleasure? I'm here because of this. It's a deal. It just needs a little taken care of. Well, in that case, just go ahead and throw it in the trash, because I don't work for you, and I'm never going to. Uh, I don't think you understand. I'm not asking. I'm assigning. This is part of our deal. I don't have any deal with you. She didn't tell you, did she? Who didn't tell me what? Donna, we made a deal where you're my lawyer. I'm holding you both to it. And if you got a problem with that, take it up with her. Morning, Harvey. What can I do for you? You can tell me David Fox isn't my client. I'm sorry, I can't do that because he is. For a year, free of charge. How is that possible? It's possible because you empowered me to negotiate with him, and that's what it took to get it done. And when were you going to tell me about this brilliant idea of yours? Well, I already did tell you when I added him to your updated client roster. You know damn well I don't read my updated client roster. OK, you got me. I just wanted to see the look on your face when he came to you and you realized you didn't have a choice. And there it is. You think this is funny? No, Harvey, I don't. And the real reason I didn't tell you is because I knew you'd react like a child. But I made a deal that you gave me the authority to make because you knew you couldn't come to one yourself. So whatever it is you're feeling, suck it up, take one for the team, and get this thing done. OK, David, what exactly is it that you want? Because you certainly don't need me to hold your hand while you buy a building. I do if that building's owner is my biggest rival. And because that owner knows what an asshole you are, you need to make sure he doesn't know you're the one doing the buying. See, this is why I'm paying you the big bucks. Oh, wait, I'm not paying you anything. Just so we're clear, you get one of those. Because I may have to represent you, but I don't have to tolerate your mouth. And just so we're clear, this guy's a douche, not an idiot. He's going to be looking for me to try to buy that building, so I need you to be smart. And that's the second time you brought this up, which makes me wonder if there's something going on here. Because hiding a buyer isn't illegal, but it sure as hell can be. The only thing going on here is that John Phillips has a piece of candy, and I want to take it from him. One other thing, this is my business. So you take this on, you get it done, or you don't take it on at all. Look at you sweating it out in the law library like a first year. I didn't know you could read. I'm just looking at the pictures. Then why don't you let me help you figure out how to get that building? Excuse me? Donna thought you could use some backup dealing with David Fox. Donna did, or you did? What does that mean? It means you want to impress me, so when the time comes, I'll vote for you. Well, let me tell you something. That's never going to happen. I know that. And I'm here because I just might have a solution to your Fox problem. So you can either trust me, or you can figure out how to get out of this yourself. But for the record, not everything I do comes with a price tag. This was Donna's idea? Yeah, it was. Well, then why don't you sit down, and I'll bring you up to speed. I have a better idea. Why don't I sit down and tell you how we're going to get that building? All right, what do we have here? I'll tell you what we have. I got a building. I don't want to sell it, and these two are in here crying to you. You don't have a lawyer? I don't need a goddamn lawyer. We're not crying. We are representing the community, because that building was built in 1896, and all we're asking for is a TRO until the Landmark Commission can make a decision. Give me a break. They're not representing the community. They're representing David Fox. I did not say he was my client. And even if he did, that doesn't mean this is connected to that. How about the fact that Mr. Fox has been shoveling my biggest tenant tens of thousands of dollars a month to stay in his lease so I couldn't kick him out? Is that connected? What? Your Honor, those payments are repayments for an unrelated debt. Bullsh**. Peter Mento doesn't have two pennies to rub together, much less tens of thousands to loan David Fox. And the details of someone's personal financial arrangements are not your business. That's enough. You two want to push this up the hill at the Landmark Commission, be my guest. But I see no reason to stop this man from making a living in the meantime. Your restraining order is denied. I hope you're here to tell me you got it done. I'm here to give you one last chance, because I know about the payments to Peter Minto, and so does Billows. Well, how much does he know? I'm not here about what he knows. I'm here about what I don't. Because I asked you if something shady's going on, you lied to my face, and the only reason I haven't dropped you yet is Donna gave you her word. You know what? You wouldn't understand. I understand money laundering, and knowing the kind of man you are, it's exactly what's going on here. You no, know, you don't know shit about the kind of man I am. Then tell me right now, what the hell is Peter Minto giving you in exchange for $10,000 a month? 
It was nice representing you, David. It's not what he's giving me. It's what he gave me. What does that mean? I was 13 years old. I didn't have any money. I needed a pack of cigarettes. So I took one from Minto's Market. And then I thought, you know, while I'm at it, might as well take a bunch of other shit. He didn't press charges. No, he didn't. But he did make me work it off. Next thing I knew, he took me under his wing. Look, I gave him that money because if I didn't, he'd go out of business. If I don't get this building, he's going to go out of business anyway. Why didn't you just tell me this in the first place? For the same reason, I don't want anyone to know it. All right, I need people to believe that I'm ruthless. Wouldn't you rather have people know you're loyal than have them think you're an asshole? Look, Peter Minto taught me how to do business as a gentleman, but there's a reason he can't keep his business alive, and I can. Well, I can't say I agree with you, but I'll get you your building. Turns out those payments were because Peter Minto was Fox's mentor. He wasn't laundering anything. He was trying to save that market. So he was basically donating to Goodwill after all. I guess he was. Wait a minute. Goodwill. Public good. What do you got? There's a public good requirement for any project. Yeah, and this one has it covered with the subsidized housing. Because that way, his Chinese investors have to cover it. How do you know that? Because I got a copy of their agreement. And if that good is residential, they take the hit. If it's commercial, Billows does. And Minto's market is a commercial public good. Which means all we need to do is tell those Chinese investors their trusted partners have been screwing them. And Billows either loses his partners or foots the bill himself which puts him between a rock and a hard place. And his only way out is to sell to David Fox. Look at that. We make a pretty good team, don't we? Maybe. But the only problem is, it makes this whole project a money loser for Fox. So what? You said he's been subsidizing Minto anyway. Privately. This is in the public eye, which means everyone's going to think he's either soft or stupid. And I'm telling you, it's that man's worst nightmare. What do you want to do? Can you get to the Chinese? I can. You handle them, and I'll handle David Fox. Sounds like a plan. Are you sure you can handle them? Yeah, but can you handle them? Let me get this straight. You're telling me you can get me the building, but it's going to cost me more to keep Peter in business than I was paying in the first place. And on top of that, the whole world's going to know about it, because Bill is going to make sure they know it. Are you trying to stick it to me even more? I want you to know the cost of this thing before you make a decision. This is bullshit. David. God damn it! You could have done better. And you could have told me the full fucking story before I only had two days to stop it. So either I look like a sucker, or I let the guy who gave me my start go out of business. Helping Peter Minto stay in business doesn't make you a sucker. It does to the world! David, the deal is what it is. If I could make it any better, I would, but I can't. What would you do? As your lawyer, I'd tell you, get your emotions in check. It's a shitty deal and a stupid move. But if I were in your shoes, I'd take it. Take it. You know, I never thought I'd be saying this, but you earn my respect.